Hey guys, it's Margaret, and it is Monday, which is not normally my day where I do a week in review, but I have been sick as a dog last week, and then I went out of town. So I haven't put up a video in a number of days, which is unusual for me, um, because for the same reasons, I got what I thought was allergies, but anyway, it ended up being not allergies. And then Thursday, I know I talked a little bit about I was going out of town. I couldn't say where I was going, but I went to the... Did you guys hear that? The cats are loose. I don't want to know. Um, I went to the Ecom Convert... Ecom Commerce... I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Ecom Chicago. I was in Chicago. So Thursday, I went to Chicago. And again, and of course, it got really bad. Like my sick, it got so bad. So I went to Ecom and then came back yesterday. So it was so much fun. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. And then some of the other things, I don't have a, a whole lot of notes, so I'm, not, I'm warning you in advance, this may get very rambly. Um, and then I, I got friend mail, I, I, so I just wanted to come on and say hey to everybody, because honestly, I miss talking to you guys. I, I did a, you know, like I taped my P.O. box, you know, I went to go to the P.O. box this morning. I was tired, I was wet because I just gotten out of the shower, dropped the kids off. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go check the P.O. box. I'm expecting you know, a return. And I open it up and there's just like four keys and packages. I'm like, what happened? I've only been gone a couple days. So at that point I, was, I, I did a little video showing like, okay, what? Did, what? Um, and then I realized I miss talking to you guys. It's been a number of days. So let me say hi in the chat. Hey Joni and hi Turtle Trader. Hey King Flip, he says he's first or not. Uh, one witchy lady and Tracy and Diane. Tracy says, hi Margaret, it was nice to meet you at Ecom and have lunch with you. Yes, it was. I got to meet so many amazing people. I was so excited. Okay, I'm going to cough. <coughs> Pardon me. So, yes, I went to the Ecom Chicago conference, which was really interesting. Um, they're there were all sorts of resellers there, not just eBay. Um, and one day it was a little bit Amazon heavy, which was fine. It was nice, I felt like, to just see what kind of options are out there. Because most of us that are resellers, you know, we probably dabble in eBay, well, at eBay and Amazon FBA and things like that. But meeting some people that are hardcore, like private label and wholesale and bundlers, and it was just... Oh, <laughs> one witchy lady says, I loved your quick short video where you were squishing Jason's head. Was that, was that on Periscope or was that on Facebook Live? I think it was on Periscope. So I was sitting at the table. I'll have to see if I can find a clip of it to share later. I'm sitting at the table and Jason and Nadine are sitting way back and I'm sitting there like this, like squishing his head. <laughs> I wonder if he saw that. Morning, Dwayne. Um, yeah, I'll have to find a clip to, to put it. It was Periscope. Okay, good. I can, I can find that and put it up later. But um, yeah, it was really cool. Like, cause my, I've felt like I've never really been into even the idea of private labeling or doing wholesale or things like that. But it was just really nice to know, like, those are options for me. You know, like I never rule anything out, um, especially in our line of work, because things change like that, and so many changes have happened just recently that, you know, just magnify that. Like, thing, cause we're, you know. On every, all these other people's platforms. So things can change in the turn of a, tomorrow. They can say anything they want and change anything they want. And it's just nice to have, I feel like I'm preaching now. It was just nice to have met all these different people that do lots of different things. So there's always different paths in the road, whether you see them at the moment or not is, you know, whatever. So that was cool to learn a lot more about um, that outside of Amazon. And then um, Chris Green talked about merch and print-on-demand stuff and how um, Amazon is going to be taking more, going more in that direction. And he really amplified, for me anyway, the opportunity that's there and the fact that, yeah, we may know about it, but we're like the small reseller community or whatever. But like if you went and talked to, if I would go talk to my parents about merch, they might know about it because they've heard about it from me, but like not that many people really know about it outside of a certain you know, it's a few thousand probably, you know, or more. I don't know. Anyway, but you know what I'm getting at. If I go next door to my neighbors and said, hey, do you know what merch is? They probably would not know. You know, many people don't know. And so what a benefit for us that is, you know, being in at that level where nobody, not a lot of people know about it yet. But, but he's like, 
Same thing with Prime. Now anybody knows what Prime is, but five years ago they wouldn't have. So anyway, that was really cool. But that's what I'm doing, right? We can review, so I'm good. Rambling is okay, right? Um, King Flip says, did you see merchant restrictions on designs that haven't sold in 60 days? Yes, I did. And I know some people were like really upset by it, but honestly, it doesn't bother me because I figure those are the ones that aren't making me any money anyway. Um, and there might be some that I might see about upload, re-uploading or, because like, this isn't telling anything, but I have like Zodiac, a line, I have a line of Zodiac shirts up. Um, <laughs> that sounds like, so my line of Zodiac shirts that I have up, you know, maybe I've only sold like Cancer and Capricorn and only a couple of them, but like, okay, maybe I look into when it's three months out from that signs window, like re-uploading them or something like that. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, like, you know how people are so hush-hush with their design, so, oh. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I think it, for something like that, I might, you know, try uh, re-uploading at that point. And I have also gone through, because I have a bunch of shirts that I haven't sold. I mean, I would say that out of my 500 shirts, there are maybe 100 of them that have sold, at least one. You know, I have a ton of shirts up, so... I was just trying to fill spots. So I, I'm the first one to say that some of them are not the highest quality or the best design or the, you know, but and then I figure, oh, I can just take one down as I want to put one up. And that's probably what Amazon is trying to stop, right? There's the crappy designs that get thrown up just to like meet my 500, just in case. I mean, they're not crappy, crappy, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm getting at. Um, or just variations. I have some that are just like three variations of one design you know, changing font, changing color, that kind of thing. How did I get off on merch? Oh, I was talking about Chris Green. Um, but yeah, I, I'm okay with that. And then also I've gone down on some of my shirts that I haven't sold that I feel like are good designs. I've dropped the price on some just to see. I mean, I don't really think that – I'm a believer in people think they get what they're paying for. And so most of my shirts are $17.99 to $19.99. And so – when I drop it to fourteen ninety nine, I'm worried they're thinking they're not getting the same quality, but it's worth a try. They haven't sold yet anyway. So, oh, I got some more people in the, in the chat. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Jeannie. Hey, Brad. How's it going? Good morning from California. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so who else did I see? John Lawson spoke. Um, it was really cool to see some of these really great speakers. You can tell that they, they have honed their skill. Super motivational, super... You know, they, they really get their message across and they know what they're doing. So it was really nice to hear people speak that are like that because I don't feel like I'm always like that. I, I ramble on and like, there's a cat. Now I'm thinking about cats, you know, and he's cute. He's so cute. Hey, Caroline, good morning. Good morning, Kiki. Good morning, Jessica, Parrothead Picker. Hello, hello. So what else? Who else did I see? And now John Lawson was really good. Tell me what he talked about again. I don't remember, but it was good. I remember that. I remember, I remember just really like focusing in on, on him. Kathy Terrell spoke. I hope I'm saying her last name right. She talked about selling on Facebook and the Facebook group. So that was really good and getting into a, a good Facebook group. And then J and A did their show. I don't know if you saw that, um, but they did. They went live from ecom. What else talked. I'm trying to think. Oh, oh, hey Jenny B. Oh, did you make the live show? Cool. Um. Oh, oh, brain. My brain. Cat, stop. Oh, what's her name? She was on Jay's show, Queen of Auctions. What is her name? If you're in the chat and you remember her name. And her book is right over there, and I can't get it either. Um, hey, good morning from Tyler, Texas. Oh, gosh. Lynn. Oh, was her name Lynn? I think it's Lynn something. But anyway, she's the queen of eBay auctions. So her presentation was really good, too, because she does a lot, like, her, her reselling is like mine, only hers is like a bazillion times better. Because Lynn Drawley, is that, am I saying her name right, Drawley? D-R-A-L-L-E. Um, she knows so much about antiques. And so she, sell, I mean, she just sells everything. And she's not afraid to pay up, you know, pay $50 for an item that she knows she's going to be able to get two, $300 for. Because she knows her antiques, it's like in her blood. So it was so cool to listen to her and just to feel you know, even more so because when I feel like, yeah, I'm pretty good at, at spotting, you know, vintage items or things that are going to make me good money. Um, but she's like amazing at it. It's just so cool. Hey, good morning, Rebecca and good use goods and last 
latest grace hello so that was really cool um then we you know i got to hang out with jay and nay went to lunch uh, and lots of other people it wasn't just jay and a but got to talk to lots of people let's see what else we went to a tiki bar saturday night that was cool who else did i talk to jay oh what's his last name oh this is bad he's a scanner monkey dude <laughs> but that was nice. He was really cool to talk to. And turns out he lives on the other side of Houston. So, hey. But he's definitely Amazon heavy. So, hello, Matt R. Hello, hello. Hello, Andrea Hills. Yay, friends. Um, but, yeah, I just I really miss talking to everybody. I thought about going live for, you know, doing this while I was there. But, oh, my gosh, Sunday was just, no, it was out. Jessica, Alex, how do you take pictures for eBay? I use my phone. <laughs> Wow, that's a whole topic for another time if you need more. Randy did not go, um, Dwayne. Randy, Randy stayed home with the boys, and they, the air show was in town, so they did the air show, and yesterday they had um, Halloween in the park, so when I got home, we basically just cleaned me up and like went to Halloween in the park, so that was fun. Okay, so what else? I didn't get to see much more of Chicago, though. I would have liked to see more. Am I forgetting any? Think, no, I'm, I, I am. Yes, I am. No, I am. That's me. There we go. I'm back. <laughs> this is going to be the silliest thing ever. But Seller Active had the best pins. You know how they all like free stuff out? You know, all the vendors, and then you go by and you pick up all the like free goodies. But this one, there, <laughs> I came home and like, Randy, they had the best pins there. He's like, seriously, you're coming home talking about a pen? Yes. Look at this. It's like a sonic screwdriver. Okay. And then it has a stylus. Okay, I'm selling this pen, but it was free and it was heavy. Okay, that was it. <laughs> I'm serious. I got really excited about their pens. So the boys wanted me to bring something home. I'm like, I know what I'm bringing. I'm bringing a light up pen. Hi, Crimson Cricket. Hello, hello. Okay, so <laughs> I talked about e -com. If you guys have any questions in the chat, I will try to remember. Who else I, I saw? I know there were lots of other speakers. It was really good. Um, Duffer Cat says, check the free goodies and see if they're selling on eBay and Amazon. Did that once, but it was too late. The kids had already dismantled it. Oh, not my pen. <laughs> <coughs> That's a good idea. Hello, Jeff Smith from Michigan and Christy Walker. All right, so next up, I was going, I'm trying to decide if I should do my friend mail now or if I should talk about other stuff. I don't have really good notes written out. I just wanted to come on and say hi. Um, one witch lady asked if I ever got my Mont Blanc pen authenticated. I haven't been over to the Galleria yet. I did a video, um, it was one of the last ones that I did, where I went through, oh, am I frozen? Am I frozen? I don't know, refresh. Um, I did a video recently trying to authenticate it myself, just going through all of the things that people say to look for. And it looks good to me. So, <clears throat> oh my gosh, Jenny. <laughs> Pardon me. I'm sorry. I should have muted that. Um, but it, it looks good. So I'm going to take it over to the Mont Blanc store and just see. If, I don't want to pay these $75 because I guess if you have to have a certificate. I mentioned that in the video. To take it to the Mont Blanc store to have them really authenticate it, they charge you $75. Um, but I may just take it and say, can you just look at it? I don't need a certificate. And see if they think it's real. I think it is. I really do. From everything that I read and all of the, I mean, it looks really good. Stop. Um, so this is for you, Jenny. Um, I have a pen. I don't have an apple. But we'll pretend. Apple pen. Okay. Have you guys seen that? That's hilarious. The apple pen. My little one loves it. He wants to play it on loop. Um, <laughs> So Jenny said, I saw that. I think you are good to go, but I would be worried without having them have a look. I agree. I agree. Because the last thing I want to do, and somebody else meant in, the, in one of the comments, I don't know if it got deleted or not, said, oh, whatever, just sell it and just, what, you know, just go with it. And like, I am not. Like, I'm not that person. I don't want to have that reputation of selling counterfeit goods or taking the chance of getting my, this is how I make my living. I don't want to take that kind of chance. Of getting my account pulled for selling counterfeit goods you know what I mean especially in the fourth quarter okay so merch um, I talked a little bit about merch earlier and Parrot has said 
looked good to me. He, he, 95% sure it was legit on the pin. Cool. So merch. Um, I finally got those last 15 slots filled up, which was good. So I'm at my 500 shirt design level now. Um, I'm trying to get tiered up because I think, you know, if you haven't applied for merch by Amazon yet, it takes a long time. Randy applied. Gosh, it's been probably two months now. And somebody else at the conference said they've been waiting for eight months. So at that point, I'm, I already told Randy, just reapply. You know, when I was trying to get in back in December, January, I think I, I probably applied every single week. And, you know, with the same account, I didn't make up a new account or anything, but I was just like, I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting in there, you know, and finally I made it. So I would reapply if it had been that long, but I don't know. Um, so I got those shirts uploaded. I don't know my numbers right now. I like to share my numbers just as a motivator because when I see, if, if you don't watch Treasure Gnome, I think his channel is called Treasure Gnome, his numbers are, are such a motivator for me because I think we started around the same time and he's making thousands of dollars every month. I mean, he shows like one month it was a thousand. I mean, and he was in the two hundred dollar, and then four hundred, and then a thousand, and his last one was four thousand dollars on merch shirts, right? I mean, so to me, I don't mind focusing a little more attention on that with my business because that's you know passive income once you get that those shirt designs up there. So I am nowhere near that yet. <laughs> But I, I'm really excited about the opportunity that's that's there. Okay, so that's the merch. Um, Etsy and eBay, I've been working on my listings, which is really good. <laughs> Yay me. I, I did some while I was away. You know, I have lots of pictures on my computer. So, And I actually sold something I listed yesterday, which you know how you have that feeling like, did I list it high enough? It was a Bible, a Bible that I picked up for, it was a dollar or less. And it's, I, I took a best offer of $30 on it, but I listed it for 35. So I was like, yeah, I'll take that. Maybe I'm just thinking maybe I didn't research enough, but still that's a really good profit in my books. I'm happy with that $30. I mean, I know there's fees. I'm, okay. We've probably ended up being 20 something dollars when I'm done. So <coughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mute it again. <coughs> right. Those Bibles sell really well. Good use, good set. I love Bibles. I just sold a vintage one for $60. And this one was like 2002, Minister's Edition. That might be what it, why it was a popular one. Who knows? Let's see. I have a few questions in the chat. Jenny B says, do you have to sell on Amazon to apply to merch? You don't. You don't at all. Um, you just go on, and it'll ask you what your organization's name or your website. And a couple of the things are optional. Um, but I just put in my Texas Gal Treasures and all of this. Christy says, I need some honey and lemon for that cough. Yes, I do. It, I feel better, though. You should have seen me at uh, Ecom. Oh, my gosh. The first day I was there, like, sweating. I'm wearing it. I'm, you know, I'm Texas. I'm wearing this sleeveless shirt. I'm outside where it's cold, you know, and people are walking and going, oh, my gosh, are you freezing? Like, no, I'm sweating, you know. A nice lady, because I didn't have a car, a nice, nice lady went to Walmart and brought me some mucinex and cough drops and a sweater. I mean, it was just, I want to say her name was Anne, but I could be totally wrong and I feel bad. But the reason I say her name is Anne is because she looked like one of my aunts whose name was Anne. So it would be too coincidental if her name was actually Anne too, but it might've been. So <coughs> pardon again. Huh. Louie asks, what type of advertising am I doing for merch? I am not doing a ton, um, which I need to look into more because I've heard that there's some Facebook stuff that you can do. Um, but my thing is I don't want to be spammy. Like that's, I don't want to get spammy with it. Not like jiggy with it, but spammy with it. But I've done a little bit on Pinterest. I actually tried doing a Pinterest um, paid campaign just to see how it would work, just a short one. And I noticed I got some hits with a couple of the shirts. So but I just have to, you know, take a step back, do that, and see was it worth the money? You know, did I make enough profit to pay for the campaign and then some? Because the, the whole point is to make money, not to break even, you know. So, but um, yeah, other than that, just I do pin. I just pin my shirts, which I, you know, try to do a couple times a day. I'll take two or three shirts, pin them on Pinterest. Try to change up the, um, you know, before you hit pin, you can change the description of the shirt. 
So I make sure I get some more describers in there and some hashtags and things and pin that. So I just do that a couple times a day and that's it. Uh, let's see, another question. Do, do, do. Where did it go? Oh, Christy said, asked, do you need to pay up a lot up front to do merch? It's zero. I know. I did a video about it. Surprise. <laughs> do a video about everything. Um, I did a video about merch and it's it's one of those things that like it sounds too good to be true. It must be. I'm like, no, it sounds too good to be true, and it's true. Um, I paid zero to get started on merch. Some people pay graphic designers. They go to Fiverr. They go to people like Glenn Zubia, who are really good designers, and pay to help you know them come up with designs or create the designs for them. I tried Fiverr for like one or two designs when I first started, and I really either I got a bad designer or what, but I didn't like what I got got back. I'm like, I could do this. You know, I may, obviously probably didn't get the right designer, but um, <clears throat> I wasn't real pleased with what I got back. So I've just been doing my own thing and it's worked out okay so far. So <clears throat> pardon me again. Oh, can I mute it? <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to cough again. Hang on. Okay, there we go. All right, so um, eBay and Etsy, I'm trying to get my listings going again, but as I said, you know, I've been sick, and you, when you focus in one area, obviously something else is going to start um, slacking off, so getting my eBay and Etsy listings up has been really good. Um, so over in our group, I'm just kind of going down. I don't have any specific notes written. Over in International League of Thrifters, things are still chugging away. We've got over 3,000 members. Um, if you haven't joined yet, come on over. We are a really positive group and, you know, our mission, one of our mission, we don't have any specific mission statements, but our mission is basically to be a really positive and helpful group, making sure that whether you're a new seller or an old seller, old seller, seasoned vet, veteran seller, um, that you can go there and ask for help and nobody's going to make you feel dumb, you know, because we all started some point at some point and when nobody knows anything you know what I mean you can just go you don't know okay nobody knows everything so it's a nice place to go and ask questions and learn about new things without being made to feel like what do you mean you don't know what goes in a regional raid a box everybody knows that fool it's water, I promise. Um, hi, Teresa Jordan. Hi, Chelsea. Um, so yeah, if you're not a member over there, come on over. Um, we do Pinterest parties every day um, to help promote our items. We have challenges every day. Today is, well, this week, I should know because I'm hosting it, is a numbers challenge. Um, so we're just saying, like, motivating each other to, like, get however many listings. Today, I want to try to get 10 listings done. Guess how many I've done so far? Zero. Because I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> That's okay. I had a meeting at school too. Christy says everyone is so polite. Yeah, and we're, we really try to keep it positive. We really try to make sure like you can help somebody and there's a way to word things. You know, you can word things in a nice way or you can word things in a not so nice way. So we, we encourage that. Hello, Laura Bales. <clears throat> okay, so then that's pretty good. Do, do, do. That's, I was going to talk about YouTube. That's what I normally talk about next, but I don't know what's coming this week. I do know there will be a lot of unboxings coming. So, because I have a lot. I just, um, as I said, I went to the post office earlier and I had all these boxes waiting for me. And I haven't done, I have two Firefly boxes now that I need to undo, which I'll probably, we'll probably make one video for it. Two Geek Fuels that I haven't done. And we'll probably make that into one video. Cause <laughs> and then the Munch Pack came. And then I haven't been doing my Sephora Play ones, but I think I have to. I think I do. Maybe I'll wait till I get my, I got my Ips. I think I have too many subscription boxes. <laughs> but I haven't been making the, the videos for them. So maybe when I get my next, I already got my Ipsy one. And I was going to do those together. I don't know. <laughs> you might see some unboxing. So if that's not your thing, just skip them. It's cool. And I, I was honestly thinking that like, oh, they're not as popular as some of like the haul videos and sales videos and things. But when I was at Ecom, I had somebody come up and say, I love your Munch Pack videos. I love the unboxings. So <coughs> I was like, oh, okay. Somebody does like them. Great. I'll do them. I don't feel so bad now. Pardon me again with the coughing. I apologize. 
Hi, Julie, Thrifty Paper Garden. Hello, hello. I'm going to skip my shipping tips and all of this stuff because I don't have anything. I really just jumped on, wanted to say hey and catch up. But I'll do my friend mail real quick. And if you have any other questions, oh, that cough made me a little dizzy. So Deanna, Deanne, oh, I hope I'm saying your name right. I closed out my screen. She sent this for my mom. Wasn't this so nice? She, she We're in a group, uh, my other group, Jewelry. <laughs> I made the name too long. I can't remember it. Ju, ju, oh gosh, jewelry lovers and sellers group where we just, it's an educational only group. We're not selling unless you see something, you private message them and say, I want to buy that. Um, so Julie had this up and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, she was trying to figure out, you know, is it amber? Is it bake light? And then she had seen the chain and was like, wow, that's really unusual. You wouldn't normally think you would put some plastic beads on a nice chain like that. So um, we were talking about the different kinds of amber that this could be, and I said, well, you know, you know let me know if you end up do, do end up wanting to sell it or something, because my mom collects amber. Amber's her thing. And so she ended up just sending it to me for my mom. Isn't that wonderful? And goodness knows, and I told her, this is going to make my mom's day. She's, this has not been my mom's year. Right, exactly, cherry amber. Why is amber always like food? There's like honey amber and cherry amber and what's the other one? Butterscotch. You know, it's always food. Except for, what's the other one that's not food? I can't think of what it's called now. Um, so yeah, I actually haven't given it to my mom yet because I've only seen her for like two seconds um, because she they were on a cruise. So they went on a cruise. They just got back and then I turned around and left. So egg yolk amber, there we go. Um, Baltic amber, that's the one that doesn't sound like food. But it's a region, regional food, right? Baltic. I don't know. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. This has not been my mom's year. If you guys have been following me for a while, my mom earlier this year had these strokes that they're not sure still if they're seizures or strokes. She can't drive anymore. And then she had all these other things going on. Then she broke her ankle or fractured her ankle real bad before the trip. I mean, this has been my mom's doozy year. You know, you have those years. But this year has been my mom's funky year. So I was like, oh, this is really going to uh, cheer her up. Thank you so much. Let's see. Sherry Duke says, helping the person asking the question actually helps everyone. This is true. Like in our groups, yes, you learn. Same thing with the jewelry group. Um, that's why I love it because somebody will post something. If I know the answer, I'll, I'll say what it is. But if I don't, um, I just put, uh, I'm laughing at Dwayne. <laughs> I'll, I'll put, you know, I can't wait to find out. You know, or I'll make sure I turn those notifications on. So when somebody does know, then the, um, I'm getting distracted, the, then everybody learns what this, you know, item is or what this marking is or this stone or whatever. So it's really cool because then you got that in your brain. Next time you see it, you're like, oh, yeah, I remember. That's Labradorite. I remember that now. Dwayne says, my mom needs a bubble wrap room. She needs a bubble wrap everything. <laughs> she can't. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, runs in the family. We're very clumsy. So, <laughs> hey, going down, Grumpy. I'm gonna mute. I gotta cough one more time, real quick. Okay, so more friend mail. I got this from Holly K in Canada. Are you ready? It is a box of of treats. And when I got it, I was like, what? I didn't know it was coming because a lot of times friends will say, hey, I'm I'm sending you something. You know, keep an eye open in the mail. But she, I didn't know. And so I'm going to show you what she sent. Bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. There was a note. What did I do with the note? I can't find the note. What did I do with it? But she sent a note saying, you know, I know you like getting mail, so I'm sending you stuff. So she sent these little, like, maple. They're like maple candies. Yum. Here we go. She's in Canada, so it's Canada treats. Arrow. What is this? Peppermint arrow deliciousness. Smarties. <laughs> hey, Sherry's entourage. Kinder surprise, which we don't, we are not allowed to set, like these are banned in the US, so keep that under wrap and key. Those Kinder surprise eggs are not, uh, yeah. So people smuggle them in. <laughs> Score bar, those are yummy. Those are like Heath bars. Uh, Mothership, uh, Dwayne says, Tanya sent some wonderful crackers to the wrong address. <laughs> Sounds like my Tanya. This is a 
Wonderbar. Wonderbar. We don't have these. Isn't this fun? This is crunchy. Crunchy. Look at all this goodies. Kinder Bueno. We have something like this. We have like the little hippos, you know, that have the like yumminess inside. I, I can only find them at World Market. And this is called Coffee Crisp. We're getting there. Look at all this. Look at this. Another arrow bar. And Eat More. I've never even heard of this. Eat More bar. Dark toffee peanut chew. That sounds delicious. That sounds delicious. So I've got enough candy to last me till tomorrow. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I've got enough candy to last me for forever. But oh, it's so, look at these. I can't wait to see what my surprise is. They're Star Wars limited edition Kinder Surprise eggs. Yes. Deliciousness. Thank you so much, Holly K. Thank you. I'm going to cough again. Okay, here we go. I'm going to cough. She also says, Kinder's Band, that's really strange, is a bestseller in the UK. No joke. And in Mexico and in Canada, but apparently American children are really not smart and will swallow anything that's put inside an egg. So I don't know. I think it has to do with like a choking hazard or people are really like overly like scared. Yes. Tim Dwayne says diabetic coma in the call your house. And then my next friend mail came from Joni. That came this morning. I'm going to show you. I told her I was like, look, she sent me treasure, 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 bags and bags of treasure. <laughs> <laughs> so one of my last hauls, I found some, um, oh, oh, what are they called? Tarot cards. And Joni collects tarot cards, so I sent them to her. And so in return, she sent me this wonderful friend mail with a thank you card. And I told her, I messaged her, I was like, it's like you sent me a bag of money. You know, she sent me, I'm going to show you what she sent me. She sent me lots of, let's see, cufflinks and tie tacks and money clips. Look, this is a sterling silver. I can't believe this. It says this is a pheasant, but it looks like a duck. So here we've got this sterling silver tie tack with this duck that says pheasant, but I don't think it's pheasant. But hey, extra keywords, why not? But I'm just thinking, you sent me money, basically. Little tie bar. I because mean, I can sell this for like, what did I sell one recently like this? For like between $10 and $15, you know, each. Look at this little watermelon rival. I'm not taking them out of the bags. Is that going to bother you? Tell me in the chat. I'll take them out if you want. Little watermelon Rivoli tie tack. Oh, that'll go good. I think I have some cufflinks that match that actually. And then some more, more cufflinks. Another tie tack. I'm going to show you. It's going to be a mini haul. A mini haul of what Joni sent me. And the little teeny tie tack. But I mean, seriously, that's like t at least $10, if not more. These are like button cufflinks. You know, they've got the different kind of chain in between them. I gotta go back and watch my video, find out what that's called again. <laughs> it's been a while since I've listed those. This one's cool. Follow the rail, wait, follow the rugged road. This is a Boy Scout of America tie bar. That one might go for more. BSA. And then this is a little black, it's like Onyx. Um, but one of them was marked 14K. This one's like, Joni, are you sure you wanna send this to me? Because here we go. LG. LGB 14K, which I got to double check because it could be gold, um, gold plated, you know, or gold filled. But I'm going to double check it. I don't know what that sign is, though. What that symbol is? We'll find out. Yes. So successful that the treasures find you joins us. Look, money clip. I just sold a money clip, too, for good money. There we go. Money clip. She sent me a bag of treasures. More cufflinks. Let's see what these ones are. More cufflinks. Early 60s on the Boy Scout. Oh, cool. My husband's an Eagle Scout, but he doesn't really wear ties that often. These are cool, too. Look at these vintage. Um, they're like button. Oh, gosh. There's a name for this, and I can't remember, and I did a whole video. <laughs> you just can't keep it all in your brain. Here's some Masonic. Looks like a Masonic sign. There's another one over here. Masonic um, tie tacks. Where's more? Look at these wrap ones. Look at that gold nugget. Somebody's going to rock the you-know-what out of those. <laughs> these ones have A. A. Almost done. 
But see, she sent me like a whole bag full of awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. And there's a tie bar, more cufflinks. Those look like they might match. They do. They just go together. Tie bar, tie tacks. Score. I hope you're not kicking yourself now. <laughs> and then a nice big tie, uh, tie bar. And then look at this one. This is so cool. It's a vintage one. I almost wonder if that's... No, it's not a money clip. Okay. But isn't that cool? So cool. Right? <clears throat> Excellent. Thank you so much, Joni. I need to find more tarot cards. <laughs> See? It's a, you know, I, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. No, 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 no. I didn't know you were going to send that to me. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> okay. All right. Is that everything? Okay. If you don't have any more questions for me in the chat, I don't, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I even made a little note. So let's see. Did I talk about? Yes, I talked about Chicago, Ecom, Friend Mail, Merch, Etsy. That's all I, listing challenges. Oh, in the group we have listing challenges going on. I think I talked about that too. Let's see. Joni said, just remember when you find tarot cards. I will. Sherry's Entourage says, I never find tie bars or cufflinks at the Goodwill. I don't see them too much there either. Usually it's at the charity shops, the little church run ones that I find them. Or sometimes at, um, oh, my brain just went, whew. oh, garage sale sometimes. <laughs> okay, Jenny B says, I have a lot of tie bars and tie techs. Are you super picky if they have small scratches? Sometimes, if they look really, uh, really bad, like I can't clean them up, then I, I'm, I have a, a, like a bag, I throw them in. Or if I have odd ones where they don't have a mate, I throw them in the bag. And then eventually I'll do a lot. I have this lot in my brain that hasn't happened yet. Um, but I just sold a tie tack that, like, it, you know, it had these two little diagonal lines of, like, black enamel. And there was a little scratch on one of them. And I was like, you know what? What? Why are you yelling at me, Angie? Hang on. <laughs> there were two little lines. And then <clears throat> there was a scratch in the enamel. But that the little tie tack still sold for, like, Oh gosh, it was like between ten and twelve dollars, or somewhere at ten and fourteen dollars. Okay, hi Angie, how's it going? She says, <laughs> "Hi Margaret, back from the party bus." Yes, yes, I'm back from the party bus. It was so fun. <laughs> How you doing, Angie? <laughs> it was funny because um, Jason got on the. You know, they had the stripper pole, so I think I have some periscope of that too of Jason on the stripper pole. But it was fun. It was good fun. I, and it was so, okay, here's something I learned about me. <clears throat> I get, I'm shy around people. So when I get there, <clears throat> like if I know you, then, then you see this because I know you, right? And so like goofy silly, you know, but when I get around a big room of people that they don't know who I am, they don't give a flip, they don't care. And I, I'm just like, you know, one of those don't, don't think, you know, like, I'm, I'm weird, okay, I know it, I have accepted this. But this sort of like, are you as weird as me? Are you, you know, like, please be as weird as me. Oh my gosh, there's like a little man, please be as weird as me, please be as weird as me, kind of thing, you know. So I get really kind of introverted when I get around a people I don't know. So, um, yeah, yeah, so that kind of happened where I met a lot of people that I didn't know or didn't know me, which was nice, and then... There were people that there were a few people that did know who I was, but I still felt really shy. Like, hi, how are you? So nice to meet you. You know, but yeah. But here's the thing: like when I went to the green room meetup, it's is me. Like I'm like running all around. I don't. I I can't sit still. You know, so I'm running around talking to everybody and talk 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 everybody. You know, um, because I feel like everybody there knows everybody and I know all of you and you know all of me. And then, so it was fine. I can be as freaky as I want and nobody's gonna, <laughs> they may judge me, but I don't care because I feel like they already know me and there's no putting the Margaret back in the can once it's out, you know, but <laughs> at the e-com, not, not that many people knew me. So I was like, do I unleash the Margaret on them? <laughs> maybe not, <laughs> not this time, maybe next year. Anyway, so that's that's that. Okay, I had a really good time, and we'll see if I go next year. But I did miss uh, talking to everybody, and I appreciate you coming to hang out, even though it was just sort of a throw it all up there, let me tell you how it's going kind of video. 
but I'm glad that you came to hang out, everybody who came live. And if you're watching this later, thank you so much. Um, Andrea says, it's, I, I'm the same until I feel comfortable with people. Yes, yes. And Rebecca, if she's still in the chat, <laughs> from the pictures I've seen, until <laughs> she has a couple drinks. <laughs> anyway, okay. Whoops, there goes. <coughs> yeah, but I, I didn't do a lot of drinking, so maybe if I'd gotten a few drinks in me. <laughs> Even at the Tiki place, I was just like, okay, I started loosening up, but I could not, I couldn't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I think you get where I'm, I think you get where I'm going. All right, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you have an excellent day, and the, the video schedule will come back on track eventually. <laughs> But I appreciate you watching, everyone. Thanks so much, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.